what's up y'all it's your girl kay Diani here back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to install these locks given to me by the janet collection these are 24 inches these are their butterfly locks the slim size not the thick version and this is what they look like outside of the pack so i'm going to show you guys the little format format that i did for my hair how to install them because i did big chop so i'm not going to ramble anymore let's get straight into the video all right y'all so as y'all can see i already have like one whole half of my head done let me go, go on ahead and show you the back So this is what the back looks like and that's basically what I did in the back if you see my previous video on the other locks I had I did kind of like a faux braid rubber band method and basically I just did some BS sections and I connected them all with rubber bands so that I can crochet the hair, the locks, without wrapping the hair. But in the front half of my head, I did do individual sections. I did go on ahead and just braid my own hair. Now, if your hair is shorter than mine, what you can do is grab some braiding hair and kind of like feed it into your hair to extend it so that you can have some hair to grip onto to pull it through the through the lock and the reason why I did the individual sections because I want to be able to do like free parts and you know wear my hair up in certain ways and that's why I have the last these four at the bottom singled out also because when I pick it up I don't want it to look crocheted I want it to look like you know I put them in individually so this is the lock right here they're 24 inches long as I stated they're already like you know distressed butterfly and they're slim and all I'm gonna do is show you guys how I do the front really quick so these I am going to be wrapping so the ones in the back I'm not wrapping except this one at the bottom and then these that I have connected with the rubber band, I'm going to just crochet it. So of course you're gonna need your crochet needle, the hair that we're going to be using. If you're gonna be sectioning out your hair, some shining jam, some shears. And also I did find in my closet some spring twist hair or passion twist hair. This is basically what I'm using to wrap the base of the lock and I just cut it in half bust it down the middle and then this is what I'm going to use to wrap it so you're just going to insert the crochet needle and you're gonna want to widen the loop on here because you need to get the hair through the loop attach the loop then you're gonna push the loop through the crochet needle attach your hair and slide your hair through the loop and you're just gonna pull it down like so so it's gonna look like this then once you have it set in place you're gonna go ahead and grab your hair and the lock and you're going to wrap at the base about four to six times and I don't wrap too tight I kind of wrap lightly because I still want to have that butterfly lock appearance and I still want it to be slim as well I don't want it to get like big and bulky and I don't use any glue or anything for the remainder of the hair I just wrap until it's like no more okay so i'm gonna show you guys more up close so that you guys can see exactly what it is so that you guys can see exactly what it is that i do so like i said you want to widen the loop 
on the lock because the loop is pretty small and if you don't widen the loop it's going to be difficult to slide the rest of the lock through the loop stick your crochet needle through your hair attach it pull it through mm -hmm. go like this attach it here close it bring this all the way through hold your braid your hair and just like that so it's gonna look like this not really gonna create a knot or anything but this is exactly what it's gonna look like then you're gonna grab you some spring twist hair passion twist hair cut it in half spread it apart then you're gonna grab your hair and the lock together and you're going to wrap up the base four to six times. And there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of this section and then I'm gonna show you guys how I crocheted the back just in case you didn't see my previous video which you guys should check out because if your hair is a little bit shorter and you want a quicker method versus braiding your hair down individually then the faux braid rubber band method is perfect for you so that video the link is going to be here here one of those you know where it's going to be Alright guys, so I finished the front and I'm going to show you guys a couple clips of me doing the back because that's the last area I have to do. So I'm going to pull all this to the side and I'm going to turn around so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I just go randomly. I don't really choose like oh I'm gonna start over here I just go wherever I feel so I just stick my crochet needle in attach the hair pull it through and then usually you can just like use your finger to pull it through And that's one already in. And usually when I do these, I don't really go on ahead and fill the whole thing because I don't want my hair to feel heavy when I do crochet it. So I just put in a couple wherever I feel. And when I look at the back, if I feel like it needs more, then I'll add some more. So that about wraps up this video if you like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to share and most of all don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you're notified when i upload a new video and most of all also don't forget to check out the janet collection their knowledge trust premium edition the butterfly locks 24 inch the slim okay 
So like I said, if you guys like this hairstyle, make sure you guys comment down below and like this video. And until next time.